Thank you and good evening. Uh, welcome to the Town of Delhi Planning Board for Wednesday, August 9th, 2023. Um, first item on our agenda is a notice that this meeting is being recorded. And second item is Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and under the law, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> item on our agenda for this evening, approval of minutes from May 24th, June 28th, and July 12th. I didn't see any. As far as I know, they weren't handed out, they're not complete yet. Okay. 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 Postpone that to another time. Next thing on our agenda, and our plans. Kebab Realty Corp, Robert Couture, Old Southbridge Road, revised plan. Ryan was from land planning. I, I don't see him, but we redrew. I don't know if you've seen these yet. No, no. But on the recommendation of the board last time, he wanted us to move over the, the river. Okay. So he was able to do that, to move it over, get 100 feet, okay. which moved it to the left of the river, and still everything worked. Okay. All right. Um, Can we take a look at one of those? Do you want to take a look? Yep. With the chair, please. So the 100 foot of frontage, frontage is now oh, there? Right. Yep. We had an issue with the come over the river there. Yep. It's uh, right here. Right. Okay. So he was able to get all the lots and then driveway. Driveway. Now you want to pass one down? Yeah, let's give him up. Okay. Let's just share it. Let's just share it. Let's just share it. Let's just Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion that we accept the A&R plan as revised uh, without any waivers. Okay. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Uh, Aye. 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 Unanimous. Thank you. Oh. We got a sign. Two, two copies two of the paper. I think it's two copies of paper yeah. and the mylar. No. Over there. Okay. 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 Okay.
So our town planner is not here tonight, so or he may be coming later. Um, I think all you need is to file with the Registry of Deeds is the Mylar copy. So when you, you just sign Yeah, it? if you take okay. that one, yeah. um, we, we need the, I believe we need the two copies that are signed by us. Okay. And the, the, the rest of the copies that aren't signed, I think you can take those with you also. Okay. Okay? Thank you so much. No worries. On the agenda, uh, Gertrude Simpson, 90 Ramson Road. Simpson property was taking an existing three uh, three acre parcel and creating one the road road road. about a little over an acre, and we're going to leave the remainder with the existing house. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Can you show us the plan. Probably put the mylar right on the table if you don't mind. Is that the mylar? Yeah. Leave that on the table and just show us a paper copy if you could. Thank you. Lot one is in a res 15? Yep. Yeah, the, uh, oh, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. And the reason for the waiver is uh, we didn't know whether the existing driveway and house is going to be placed. They're, they're going to do the parks and everything and then determine that. And the topography is pretty gen general. Do they have a checklist? Yeah, we sent all of that in with the plumbing. Uh, sent it all in the book. Yeah, I think the topography was missing in the lot one. And the wetlands are delineated. We definitely did the check. I gave it all. Yeah. So it's right. the driveway. It's the driveway. Uh, I'm not uh, saying you didn't do it. I'm just yep. saying I can't find it. Well, we okay. Have yeah. it. So it looks like the, to me the only two waivers is that we would need to. to um, oh, this driveway profile, right? The driveway the profile, profile and, the, and, and the topography. Yeah, and the we topography. don't know where the driveway is going. That's the reason. Yeah. Why. From our office, still has to park the lot. So, okay. Okay, 154 feet of frontage. Yep. That's 1.28 acres. Checklist for this? It was sent in the email. Okay. No, there are only two checklists in the email. And that was for the first one and for the Collins property. The th there wasn't a third one there. Yeah, I 
Did you send it just to Bill? Yes. Because I went through the email this morning and this plan was not included. The other plans were. Yeah. We sent it in no. uh, like probably three weeks ago. Yeah, you're on the agenda, so yeah. I mean, it's squared yeah. away. It's obviously. Yeah. Any, I know received. that was one of the yeah. things you wanted, so we sent it out. So associated fees have already been paid and everything? Everything. Floor May, yep. Floor May's paid and the checklist was submitted. And the tax letter was signed also. How much of a rush are you in on this? Because we're. Uh, I know they're in a hurry, but I don't really know what okay. the time frame is. Because our next meeting is September. First meeting in September? We have a meeting scheduled in September, the next one, but we do have a member of the audience who is going to request that we meet in two weeks. Oh, okay. All right, so we could probably get you on the uh, schedule for two weeks? Uh, just in, and make sure that that's submitted. Yeah, we, yeah, we, we just need a copy of it. We need the, we need the checklist so it can make sure everything that on the checklist is on there. Well, that's All right. Right. Again, we don't disbelieve you. Yeah. We just yeah. don't have it. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, is it possible to, if the vote of our board is comfortable, to vote yeah. and either accept or however the vote, vote decides with the contingent that the, yeah. the planner confirm that everything's been received? The board's not comfortable. I'm just, I'm just suggesting. I, I, I thought, was we, I thought it was we could vote on it and not sign, not sign it until Bill confirms that everything's in order and then if that's the case we'll we just come if we could leave it in the lobby yep. and come in and sign yeah, it fine. Yeah. All right. well, that sounds like a reasonable vote yeah. okay uh, i would make a motion to approve approve uh, with the two waivers approve with the two waivers uh pending the further documentation that you submitted on yep. a later date and this will be the ANR for gertrude simpson on uh ramps horn roads you, you want to make the motion for the for the waivers first? All right. And the wa waivers being um, topography and driveway All right. um, profile. Mr. Chairman, we have a motion that we uh, approve the waivers as requested. Okay. Double so being topography and uh, um, the driveway, driveway profile. profile. Yeah. Okay, so we have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, sir. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is State of Dennis M. Collins, Maureen O'Connor, 195 Oxford Avenue. Could you sign in the, on that paper right there in front of you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good for the other two. Well, <laughs> don't know who they are. They're on the agenda. <laughs> well, one of these hours. Um, I don't know. Can you open up and take a look? <laughs> <laughs> it's the last one left on the table, right? Yes. Okay. okay. You want to pass Wait, it out? No, we have to give you. Um, There's two copies. Just, if you can just give us the paper, uh, like a couple of the paper copies to take a look at. And explain what you want to do. Okay. 
first one is the man last. You want to hold on to that one? Yeah, that one. We'll get to that one later. We'll get to that one later. We'll get to that one later. What's the clock? Explain what's happening here. This is cutting out a lot out of a larger parcel. The, on the mylar, it's the, the lot on the right. And we're just cutting that out of the larger parcel. So lot A is being pulled out of lot 15. Yes. Is it a res 30? Out of, it's yes, out of, it's a S30. Not lot 15, that's another lot. It's the other oh. lot, which. Lot 13, other side. Yeah, okay, yeah. on top, yeah. The lot on the right, yeah. Okay. Lot 13, where the solar farm is now? Correct. Yeah. Four acres approximately, a little over. No structures, 87%. Okay. So you have, I think you have the same situation that we just had. You have no, no topography and no driveway. No driveway for plants. No, nothing, it's just a beer. Just a beer water in there. There's an existing house on lot 15, correct? Don't have. You said there was a. There was a. Lot 15. There is an existing house. No, but you said you looked at the uh, emails this morning, and oh, there was correct. a checklist for this. Checklist for this is there. They're showing the two waivers and on that. And they're showing the two yep. waivers on it. All right. Yeah. I think I did look at that, but just for recollection, everything else was checked off with the exception of the two waivers. In correct. The yep. Chairman, I make a motion, if there's no discussion from the board, that we accept the two, accept the uh, AINR with the two waivers, the first being waiving the, the uh, requirement for topography and the second being for the driveway profile. Right, so we have a motion to waive the topography and the driveway profile for second. 43 Glendale Road. Oh, no, wait a minute, that's oh, there. Right. This is Oxford. Oxford. 195 Oxford Avenue. Sorry, reading the engineer's. 195 Oxford Avenue. There's a second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And somebody want to make a motion to accept the AR plan? Then, Mr. Chairman, I make a motion to accept the AR plan with the two named waivers for the lot on 195 Oxford Avenue. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous? We want to sign two, two paper copies and then sign out this one. That only go in here.
Next item on the agenda, review of decision for Sophie's Way Definitive Subdivision Plan, Arsano Road. <coughs> so, Trouble, can I ask you to sign in if you haven't already? Is that your purse? Steve's. Steve's. Good evening. Steve Wartrova, uh, <clears throat> Salmo Road, LLC, uh, here for Sophie's Way. I uh, wanted to bring a uh, covenant to the board tonight. It's a standard form F uh, for either approval, acceptance, or discussion, whatever you want to do. The decision, was it all, is it already signed off? So I wanted to thank everybody for making their way down to the police station to sign the decision. And we brought it to the town clerk and discovered the town clerk couldn't accept it because Mr. Scanlon hadn't signed it. Oh. <laughs> and of course, well, we know where he is, so hopefully, you, I was hoping he was going to sign it tonight, and then we were going to bring it to the clerk tomorrow. So the question is, is he going to be in tomorrow? If he's not going to be in tomorrow, I'm going to ask if Caitlin can give me the decision, and I'll see if I can meet Bill somewhere tomorrow, have him sign it, and I'll bring it to the clerk. Because I'd really like to start the 20-day appeal period I'm still I'm kind of this is really hamstringing me that's why I left the date of the decision on the covenant blank so I was hoping to be able to put in tomorrow's date I don't know if the if the board wanted if the board decided they wanted to approve this tonight you can make it contingent on the decision being accepted by the town uh, town clerk tomorrow and because Bill's gonna sign this too I put Bill on here talking about the right now you're talking still talking about the decision not the covenant right but the the covenant directly references the decision and it says decision dated and that's where normally on this form F I would put in the date of the decision there is no date on the decision so I'm assuming that the date of the decision is the date that it gets stamped by the clerk in other words like there's no date of creation on that I'm pretty sure or or it could be when, when what, the 20-day appeal period is over. Well, no, I, I don't think that could be the case because there's no date, there's no place on that form to put a date when that appeal period ends. We'll get a, noti we'll get a notice from the town clerk if there's no, if there's no appeals. Well, all right, what do you want to do? A charity bond for, for your subdivision? Charity. It's a covenant. It's not a bond. Do you want to put any money in case you just? I can't release any lots. 
until the infrastructure until done. the infrastructure is done but just like she's here for tonight I can come back to the board I can say have the town engineer at my cost go look at how much I've done and if I've done X amount and you're comfortable with it you can release lots so that's that's why it's a covenant. That's why, to answer your question, no, no surety bond. Used to be you could do a bond, a covenant, or tri-party agreement. Tri-party agreements are, I don't even think they're allowed anymore because they, well, tri-party agreement is, yeah, town got burned on those. So why don't we I mean why don't we see if you can get in touch with Bill and if you're going to be able to get that signed off tomorrow and get it to the town clerk because I think that needs to happen first okay so the covenant the question is can you vote on it though tonight and then we can just go through the police lobby shuffle again to get the signatures or and actually I also the way I wrote this up was so that bill can sign on your behalf because of the problem we had with getting everybody to come down to the police day. I mean it's it, it's difficult we're all we all know what it's like to be a volunteer board member and then on top of that now you're gonna take time out of your day and stop by the police lobby and but what why is it I'm sorry, why, so you want us to vote on the covenant tonight? Yeah. Why would we vote on the covenant before we get the 20 day appeal period notice? I, I'm following Bill's guidance on this. Okay. Bill's email to me was if I have the covenant in time for this meeting tonight to get it to Caitlin. So that's why I sent it to her today. So am I mistaken? Maybe he just wanted to do discussion tonight. That's what it's. Do you have a copy of the covenant? I don't think we, we don't have a copy of that, do we? Yeah. Uh, it says that's what it says. Reviews proposed covenant for Sophie's Way. That's what's on the agenda. You, you didn't get it. You didn't get an email with a. You sent it in today. Yeah, I, I sent Caitlin an email today with a PDF attachment of the covenant. The, uh, 110 101 email this afternoon. I don't think I've seen that. And then I, I have a copy here, but I mean, I don't have enough copies for. Uh, I got an email, it's uh, 101 p.m. Okay. Um, the town email? Richard? The town email? I'm sorry? The town email or your other email? Um, I sent it actually both. I sent it to Caitlin for distribution, and then I also sent it to anybody's personal email I had, which I don't think I had one for all of you. It's yeah, my personal email. Yeah, I didn't see it. So you didn't get one from. You don't have an email from me? Hold on a second. Let me see what time I sent that. <laughs> I'll tell you who I sent Richard. it to. Uh -huh. Richard is the only one that got it. No, I, I saw it too. I got it yeah, too. Okay. It's in my sent folder. All right. Uh, folders. Sent items. with me this is a little slow wait this is reading as at the Dudley Planning Board meeting of August 9 2023 on a motion to approve the covenant as presented and to authorize the acting town planner William Scanlon uh, to sign on behalf on uh, the board's behalf the board voted that that favor and the votes as follows so I it looks like the thought would be that we would take action on this Authorization of the town planner. Authorization to the town planner as I'm reading this anyway. Well, I apologize. I thought I did send that out. Uh, turns out the one that I sent out that I was thinking of was the easement to the water and sewer board members. Okay. So my mistake. I. I did not uh, I did not send that to Caitlin as I had intended to earlier today 
So, um, I mean, if you if you can if you can get a hold of Mr. Scanlon tomorrow, and he's he's willing to sign it, and you can get it to the town clerk. That's tomorrow is Thursday. Thursday, the town Thursday. hall's open, right? So tomorrow's one of the days that it's open. Yeah, right. but it's uh, that's the decision. But I'm talking about the covenant was what I sent to. Um, what I meant also, to send uh, early voting tomorrow, right. town clerk's office. I don't know whether she's going to be. It might even be closed tomorrow for the. For the no, it wouldn't be closed. It wouldn't be closed, but I don't know whether it did. Okay, so the clerk would be there to handle it. Okay, so if you can get that. So we're, are we talking? So, Mr. Chairman, just so I understand, so we take no action on the covenant until it has been until the decision has been recorded by the clerk. Is that what we're saying? I mean, what does what does us voting on the what does us voting on the um, covenant get you? Well, again, it just gets made. gets one other gets one other thing you can't, done. You can't start it. any work until until the until yeah. the uh, this, no the decision of no appeal has been has been finalized. Yeah. So when's the next meeting? We have one. We have one right now. The one scheduled is September. I think it's the, is it the first week? Of the, the, the second. Yeah. So I think it'll be the what the sixth is the first. Was it Tuesday the fifth? So it'll be the twelfth then, right? Of September. Our next one is scheduled right now. The 13th? I was off by a day? So right now it's scheduled for September 13th, I believe, unless uh, is, is somebody going to make a request that we do one in two weeks? I mean, that's Yeah, I'll make one. I'll make a request. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to make a request. I'll make a request to come back in two weeks. Okay, so two weeks would be the, uh, 23rd. the 23rd of August? Yep. Does anybody else have a problem with coming back on the 23rd of August? Or will we have a quorum? Okay. Uh, it should be. I mean, we're basically, yeah. it's going to be a, a, a skinny down agenda anyway. Yeah. Okay. So we don't have we don't have a problem. We'll we'll, we'll uh, Can you, <laughs> Caitlin? Can you please uh, notify Bill that we're going to have a meeting? Uh, yeah, and on the fourth, we'll the, uh, on the fourth Wednesday of August. Yeah, we'll need the room. We'll need the room. And our video person will hopefully schedule. considering we're usually scheduled at 7. If it's a 15-minute meeting, I can make it early. You do? Yeah. At 7. Okay, so we're already scheduled. Oh, okay, good. We'll just be here on the 23rd. Okay. <laughs> All right, thanks. So All right, you got to track We'll see you here in two, in two weeks. weeks. <laughs> we'll see you in two weeks. All right. Thank you, Mr. Latroba. Don't forget to email the covenant. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now I can I can have Bill look at it too and if he advises anything be changed. Change it before with the meeting. Not, 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 many, not many less things to talk about. Yeah. As much fun as this is. Thank you. Um Mr. Chairman, I'm not sure if it's appropriate or not, but uh, we have somebody here who was hoping to to uh, talk to us tonight but didn't get a chance to be on the agenda. I don't okay. know, do like a quick presentation if it's a Chairman allows to slide of order a little bit. Yeah, no worries. Just about next, so we can get everything, make sure everything's on the uh, schedule for our next meeting. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I'm just here to present a covenant release form for lot A12 on Bowman Drive in Dudley, Mass. Okay. It's the form E. It's the Rocky Hill Estates. Yeah, well, we don't have anything on that. Yeah, we don't have it on the agenda, so well, I can well, it's, come it's back under, in two weeks. It's under, it's under standard business, but we weren't there yet, so, but I mean, we can... Yeah, we can we can accept your request. Um, Since I think, yeah, I know I know you discussed the actual subdivision. Yeah, so you the agenda, have the you have the paperwork. I do. You? I just have the form, and I have the three thousand to release it right now. Okay. But I didn't, like I said, I didn't email because I wasn't aware of the forty-eight hours for this specific covenant. But I do know that you do talk about the actual development of the subdivision. So if you could. Um, I 
just don't know what lot that is <laughs> off the top of my head. We Twelve. Don't, um, we don't have any of the plans here in front of us. To see yeah, which. it's the is one. The last lot. It's away in the back, the right the on the right side. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. That's part of Rocky Hill. That Bona Drive is still part of Rocky Hill. It's the last well, part that's of it. That's an A&R plan. We need a permanent release. Yeah, we've done it for all so, of them. So if we, unless so <laughs> if you say we don't need it, then keep the need it, grand. No, plan. we've released all the lots for every. We gotta, we gotta get Bill's opinion on that. So I mean, does Bill know about this? No. 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 Okay. So he's he's technically back from vacation today but not in the office so um, he wasn't able to make the meeting um, but if you have that paperwork in your check if you wanted to give that to Caitlin um, and we will put you on the agenda for two weeks is that okay with you yeah no that would be fine right. um, yeah like I said it's this bona drive is yeah. it well, is part of the Bill can pull, it, pull a drawing and show us where the, where the lot is and all that stuff we only have three lots there. They're part of the company. No, there's six lots total. Bought and drive. And already we have, right, well, total, because one is owned by, by our LLC, Grace and Genevieve, and the other one's by Dudley Smart. He has two more, I believe. I don't know if he's released them. Regardless, there's six total, and the, okay. the road, everything's been gone. Right, so if you want to give your paperwork and your okay. check to, to did, did you sign in, too? Oh, yeah, I'll do that right now. Thank you. Yeah, there's a link at the bottom where you can probably access. Like I've said, we've done. I mean, yep. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just that I'm lots. not. I'm not from. I, I remember the when we approved the that street, but I don't remember how many lots were on it or the layout. Right. There was a confusion too because the name had to be changed. But. Number five discussion. Fee schedule and possible changes. <clears throat> so what I did was, um, after taking a look at our planning board fee schedule and seeing that it was. It was approved in 2005 and 2006 for, for most of our fees. And if you, the first page of this handout that I'm giving you is just a com, uh, compilation of ours with other towns. If you look behind there, you'll find the actual fee schedule for Dudley. Behind that, you'll find the actual fee schedule for Charlton, for Webster, and for Sturbridge. So they're all there. Right. So what I thought is you guys could take a look at this. You know, I put it all together. Take a look at this. You know, take it home and go through it. Um, I mean, in some cases we're not we're not the we're not the cheapest, in, in, but in other cases we are. So I mean, I think we need to take a look at all of our fees and see where they would where they should fall in line. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, just for instance, if you look at the A and R lot, we, we basically charge a hundred dollars per lot. If you look at Webster's, they have a fifty dollar fee plus a hundred dollars per lot. So fifty bucks more than us. Yeah, on every on every A and R plan, it's done. Um, if you look at Charlton's, they have a $100 fee plus $50 per lot, and that's the same as Sturbridge's. $100 fee plus $50 per lot. So if you got four lots, it's an extra 100 bucks. Charlton? Or, no, extra 200 bucks. Two order blocks. Right. right, so I mean, like, as far as A&R plans go, I think we're, we're, we're probably the cheapest out of the four. So we may want to look at changing that slightly. And then if you go into preliminary plans, um, yeah, ours are are quite a bit higher than others, but they have they have higher review fees. Like Webster has a twenty five hundred dollar minimum peer review fee for, for any preliminary subdivision, and then uh, also for a definitive subdivision with a preliminary plan, or a definitive subdivision without a preliminary plan, and. That was one of the questions I kind of had for Bill is, I don't understand why you would have two different prices for if you had a definitive plan and if you didn't have a definitive plan, unless you were trying to use the pricing scheme to try to force somebody into having a preliminary plan. I, I don't I don't understand it. Plans probably change in between, so then you gotta review them again. Well, like, 
Um, <laughs> we actually have a fee for changes to the definitive plan, yeah. two hundred dollars. Yeah. Sturbridge has one of one hundred and fifty. So we're high on that one. Charlton and, others, and Webster don't have it. Charlton and Webster don't have it. Yeah. Um, personal wireless. That's cell phone towers. I think we're way low on those because we're we're offering basically the we're offering the. Uh, A cell phone tower at seven hundred and fifty dollars plus twenty two fifty for peer review. Uh, Charlton is twenty five hundred dollars plus three hundred and seventy five dollars as an annual fee for for just keeping the paperwork up to date. Um, Sturbridge don't allow. Or it's I think it's part of the historical thing. Oh okay. <laughs> Not even keeping with the community. Unless they have them some other place that wasn't listed on there. When you take a look at their uh, fee schedule, it wasn't listed. So um, another one was like the minor site plan reviews. We have a $100 fee plus $750 um, peer review. Charlton has a $750 fee, whether it's minor or major, it doesn't matter. And our, our major site plan review is only $275. And then if you look at Sturbridge's, they do it by I mean, I don't know if this is a better way to do it or not, but they do it a dollar fifty per thousand dollars cost of construction. Well, most towers do it. So if you have if you have a million dollar if you have a million dollar uh, projects, yeah. and that's quite yeah. a, quite a bit for a fee. Yeah, so it could be. Yeah. So there's an electrical too. Is it? Yeah. That solar field was like forty some thousand electrical per minute, I think. So my thought was, I gathered up all this information. I'm giving it to you guys. If you can just take a look at it. I mean, I think what we need to do is, you know, go go through this. You know, if you can go through it on your own, and just like circle the ones that you think we could we could make a change to. Right. I mean, I I don't think I would I would recommend that we go down on any of the fees, but I think we should take a look at them all and see if there's. <coughs> I think there's a few that we should go up on. Well, then we would come up with a consensus in terms of what we think yeah, it should be. Yeah, we'd have be. to make a vote. And then we'd have to publish have, this at some point. Well, we'll ha basically have a public hearing, and after the public hearing, we'll have a vote. Right. Close the public hearing. Right. We'll get public input, and we can we can set the fees at whatever we want. All right, then we have to publish it, and then with an effective date. So right. We've got to give people proper notice in terms right. of the public I mean, hearing. I thought it was interesting that Sturbridge's fees were last done in 2005, same as ours, but Charlton had an update to their fees in 2019, and Webster had a change to their fees in 2020, so it seems like Webster and Charlton are way ahead of us in updating their fees schedules compared to what we've done. So, I mean, we're... Charlton would have made out with that Amazon thing at $1.50 per thousand. Yeah. Got oh, yeah. Deal. They, they paid $10 million just for the land. On, on yeah, what if, uh, uh, so, if you guys wouldn't mind, like I said, I, I, I put this together just so you guys would have, you know, you didn't have to go looking for it. It's all, it's all here in one package for you. Boy, we could finance all of this. We could get our folders back. I <laughs> 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 <Yeah>, hope so. <laughs> yeah, it's a little premature. But anyway. Yeah, I mean, I, um, I, some of these other things too. Like, I mean, like you can take a look, like. No conversion project, you know, we're the only ones that had it listed on our, because right. we have a mill conversion overlay in town, we're the only ones that have it on our fee schedule. I mean, if you look at, if you look at Charlton, they have a, they have one, and I didn't know, I didn't know enough about Charlton, Bill might know enough about it, because I think he actually worked in Charlton prior to working here. Um, they have one called multi-dwelling projects, so they have a, they have, a, they have a, we don't have anything with multi-dwelling, so I would guess that would could be like like the mill that we've got coming up, the, the apartments yeah. in the mill. We just did that with a site plan review. In Charlton, they would do it with this multi-dwelling projects, which they get a $750 site plan review plus any applicable subdivision plan fees. So if you, you know, if you had um, like a condominium development or something like that going in, you'd get you get like double the fees. You get the $750 site plan review fee plus the subdivision fees on top of that. I mean, maybe that's not a bad way to look at some of this stuff, but I just didn't know enough about it. 
and then they also have also has something called the flexible development subdivisions special permit and i don't know that might be similar that might be similar to like our open space residential development or something like that i don't know and they get 750 dollars for that fee also so i mean like um i mean charlton Charl like i said charlton and webster have have the newest batch of fees and charlton seems to be they have more they have actually more fees than we do um, they actually have a fee for senior living development special yeah. permit 750 dollars plus 160 dollars per unit i mean if we had that fee for the one that's going in yep. between Fort road and yeah. hall road that would have been a, probably a lot more money than the open space residential subdivision that we currently have of fifteen hundred dollars because I think that was 22 units in 20, there. 23. 23 yes. units. Okay. That would have been about a that would have been a five or six thousand um, dollars permit fee. I think we're going to be seeing more of those things in time. So I mean, this gives you guys some food Senior for thought. Food special permit, seven hundred fifty bucks for child too. Yeah. That's why they'll need an override to fund the schools. <laughs> <laughs> So I mean, just take take a look at it, and if you would, wouldn't mind, like I said, if you you could probably just use the, uh, the the spreadsheet that I put together, you know, like just circle the ones you think that we should take a look at, and you know, if you can if you can look at the other towns and can come up with a proposal, that's great, you know. Yeah, and, and we should just basically have a public hearing and go through all the fees. And Some of the differences are in the terminology too. I mean, they, they, right. I mean, they, they have some terms that they're using that we don't even have. Anywhere, right, know. right. Um, so, but uh, thank you. You've done a <laughs> very comprehensive collection of information here, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. But I just, like I said, I figured it. You know, we should take a look at it, given the situation that we have with the town where it is. Yes. Regardless of how the vote comes out later this month, I think this is probably a good idea going forward to right. make sure the. Yeah, in the future I, we don't have any. I don't know when the last time, like the building department took a look at, you know, I think the I think the building permits are actually <laughs> set by the town by the uh, board of selectmen. So I think they should take a look at that too and see what. There was a review do. of some of the permit permitting uh, mm -hmm. about a year and a half, I think, ago by the selectmen, okay. and that they were matching against various towns, towns, if you will. And I think Oxford was one of the ones they had in the consideration in addition to the. the and Southbridge as well. So I did, I, just so you know, I did call Oxford and Southbridge and ask them for a yep. copy of the fee schedule. They don't actually have a fee schedule. They have the fees like typed onto the um, actual applications when you, so I would have had to go through every application that they oh have no. and pull the fees out. Well, it's the cost of the building times whatever they get. Yeah, so I, did, I, 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 didn't, I, you know, I just didn't have that kind of time to do that. So I didn't, I didn't get all the input from Southbridge or from Oxford because they have their they don't have a fee neither one had a fee schedule. No, I, I talked to the planner planner in Southbridge and the um, and the clerk that was in the office for Oxford. Was she's a like full time planner in Southbridge. I believe it was a full time planner. Oh, planner. Oh. Yeah, what well, a luxury. So yeah, and uh, they do have a new planner coming to Oxford. The girl told me she said that they just had hired him and he was going to start in like a couple of weeks. So she said. I, what I told her was I would I would put this together and send it back to them. So okay. I'll, I'll give them a copy so maybe they can get a piece of it. Yeah. So. Oh, very good. Thank you. Yeah. And I had a copy for Bill here, Caitlin, so I'll just give it to you when we're done. No, I mean it's these are these are ap like application fees basically. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We we know. Yeah. We, we know what that is. But this these fees are not for the planner. These fees are for the town to collect for the applications of different things that you're doing, such as a cell phone tower or a you know. It's basically a documentation charge. Yeah. I mean, I, if you think about it, all this paperwork after it's done, it's generated. It goes into the files in either the planning office or the building office or something like that. And it's got to be maintained in, in perpetuity. Mm -hmm. There's a cost to that. 
power line, one below and you're on the ground. <laughs> Couldn't even tell you what the other <laughs> charge is. 3,000, not even. Nope. And that's just the water, that ain't even counting for the sewage. Mm -hmm. It's crazy what yeah, they want. I mean, we can't really, I mean the water and sewer in Dudley is an enterprise system, yeah. so it's not, it's not up to, it's not yeah, up to yeah. us, it's up to the board to, yeah, no. yeah, board to do that. They're elected officials just like we are. But. Some other towns. <laughs> well, I know, like, I, I, I looked at the town of Delhi building permits years ago, and I know, like, I remember going and checking, like, just a, a 15, I think it was a 1500 square foot house I did the analysis on, but this, this, don't quote me, this was like 10 or 15 years ago. And I mean, like, you could get the permit for that house in Dudley for like $300. Yeah. And if you went to like Sturbridge, it was twenty five hundred dollars. Oh. If you went to Woodstock, it was twenty five hundred dollars. Oh. And I mean, we were getting three hundred dollars. My last building permit was fourteen thousand. So yeah, I think it's. I think we just have to look at, the, at it and make yeah, sure that we're not. I do think that they uh, estimate the cost of the project change now. Some of the fee schedule, but I'm not sure exactly <coughs> what the amounts were yeah. or what the specifics are. But there was. So if you guys don't mind, just you know, no. you can spend half an hour taking a look at it, see what yeah, you think. No. Well, like I said, we'll have a. We're going to, I think, Bill scheduled the public hearing. I think it was for September. The first meeting in September was the public hearing. So we would, we would at that time, we would go through it again. Mm -hmm. So. And then the other thing that we were going to talk about, um, not really on the agenda, but it would be on that, would also be on that same public hearing is what we, what we, what I went to the board of selectmen and told them that we were going to do for the, yeah. for, for the, to help support the cost of having a town planner, you know, a part-time town planner. So, I mean, at that point, we need to. We, I think we would need to come up with what are we going to charge per hour for Bill's time, right. you know, to a um, to an applicant that comes to the town, and that's well, you know, yeah, and then get that set up. And then hopefully, we're collecting enough on this that will offset the cost of Bill's time uh, somehow. You know, we, we need some flow in terms of some things presented to us that we can charge for. It. Well, I mean, like to, to take care of this salary requirements. Right. Yeah. So. Okay. Next thing on our agenda for this evening after the fee schedules was uh, vote for an approval delegate to Central Mass Regional Planning. Now, Mr. Clark, I know you've been on there a number of years and you, and you love it, but... <laughs> <laughs> and, you're, and you're getting the town a lot of bonus hours with Central Mass Regional Planning, but is there anybody else that would like to uh, step up and be the delegate for Central Mass Regional Planning? They meet what, once every two months or three months? Yeah, uh, basically they've been meeting on Zoom. So it's, oh, really? It's, yeah, it's a low impact in terms of you don't have to necessarily go into it. The annual meeting was uh, held actually at uh, Southwick Animal Farm. Okay. A large tent outside, so that that is an in-person meeting. But uh, they're at the every so uh, at quarterly meetings, I think. Every three months. But yeah. Okay. I mean, it, it's low impact. I mean, there's not uh, not a lot. Uh, they, I think they tend to see the rest of the world as mini Worcesters uh, <laughs> to some extent, though. But uh, that's an interpretation that they're, yeah. that they're particularly fond of. But it's a lot of uh, very interesting people. People. We have two delegates from Dudley. We have one that is appointed by the selectmen, okay. and uh, his name I'm forgetting, Trafoni. Okay. And uh, that is one obviously that's appointed by the planning board. And, uh, Do we have any volunteers other than Mr. Clark? Or I, I, I should ask, are you going to volunteer again? Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> do you want to keep I, it? I don't have any problem with saying that. <laughs> he doesn't have a problem with it. But somebody want to make a motion to make a motion to for Richard Clark delegate. delegate Central Mass Regional Planning. Central Mass Regional Planning. Okay, so we have we have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. One abstain. Yes. Okay. So four four yes, one abstention. Thank you. Thank you for taking it, Mr. Clark, because every hour that you're there, you do earn an hour for the time. We've got twelve now. So thank you very much for doing that. Okay, jumping down the stands of business. Um, this is where we talk about unfinished subdivisions. 
finishing construction, construction of acceptance of uncompleted and unaccepted subdivision streets, including Rockley Hill Estates, Pierpont Estates, Country View Estates, Tobin Farm Estates, Lyon Estates. And I think without Bill here, we're not going to really going to get any reports on this because I don't get any notifications on any of this stuff. And I don't think anybody else does. We note, Mr. Chairman, that, uh, well, uh, winter inspections and actions associated with site plans, I just I maybe jumped ahead of you a bit, but we do have a sign for the Stevens property now. Yep, I saw the picture of it. Yeah. And uh, they did some uh, some of the vegetation around the back side of the, the Dunkin' Donuts property adjoining the Stevens yeah, property. Up. Some of that's been knocked down, taken down. I don't know. They have a whole lot more than that done, but hopefully that's the beginning of something. Okay. All right, so um, the next item would be the inspections and actions associated and with site plans. Did take a look at the uh, a few days ago up at Nichols. They still have a sign up there for the townhouses, but they haven't done anything. It looks like they're still using it as a practice field at this point. Okay. Okay. Any comments from the planner? No. Do we have any comments from the planning board? Any comments from the audience? Mr. Chairman, I was listening to your discussion about the fee structure. Did I hear correctly? Is there a town that actually charges a fee for over 55 developments? Yes. Yeah. It seems kind of unusual. You would think you would want to encourage over 55 developments rather than charge additional fees for them. Well, I guess if you happen to be a town where, there, where the biggest 55 and older development is, a, is, in a, is in around this area, you probably want to have a high fee for it. Um, anything else, Mr. Okay. Mr. Chairman, I would move that we well, no, we Hang on. meeting dates. Okay. Yeah, we have to we have to actually set the meeting. So, what August. was the date for the one in August? Twenty third was it? Twenty third. All right. So our next meeting will be August twenty third, seven p.m. This room, and then uh, the meeting after that will be September thirteenth, seven p.m. This room. And um, Caitlin, you don't know if there's any consultant payments or vouchers that are due? There's nothing. Okay. Um, and we already made the we already made the notice for the board of, from the board of selectmen that uh, the meeting is being uh, re being recorded. Yep. We made that at the beginning. Um, we could we could note that there are new town hall hours. There are Tuesdays and Thursdays from 8 a.m. to 4:30 p.m. Is that correct? So if you're in the general public and you got to come to town hall to do business, you want to come on a Tuesday or a Thursday? We have no other correspondence. All right. And then um, we, did, we did receive the minutes here from Caitlin. So, um, oh, we can go back to that. Did we want to do that now? Or do you want to just take them home and take a look at them? Are there enough copies here for everybody? or No? Just enough copies to sign? Yeah, yeah, why don't you send them out? Why don't you send them out and then we'll, we'll mess them all like three of them? No. Yeah, there's, there's copies of them here, but I mean, we're not going to all read them now at no. yeah, the 8 o'clock at night. So if, she, if you don't mind, I don't read too good after eight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're missing your glasses, right? Exactly. Mr. Chairman, if it's in order, I would make a motion that we adjourn. Okay. We have second. a motion. We have a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you.